Welcome back to Teresa's Gem. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. And if you're new here, welcome. I have an awful garbage mouth. And if you're not into that or weird shit in general, then this is not the place for you. Feel free to exit out the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. If you want to jump straight to what I got for Christmas, which is very weird to say because I am 33, I'll leave a time code down below. Feel free to jump ahead. So I actually want to share like a little tiny story with you guys before I show you actually the mail that I received from my PO box and then ultimately what I got for Christmas. But this kind of happened while I was at work this week. One day this week, I ran into one of my coworkers, Pete. Now, if you're not familiar with Pete, Pete is the normal guy that I work with. However, he has an assistant that's a little out there. His name is John and John actually openly told me that he shit his pants at work the other day. So that's the kind of level of fun that I'm dealing with at my job. So the other day I run into Pete in the hallway. We're just bullshit and whatever. And right before I was about to go to my desk, he says, Hey, by the way, have you seen John today? I said, no, I haven't. Is everything okay? I don't know. I haven't seen or heard from him. So I don't know if you see him, just let me know. Okay. Yeah, sure. No problem. Fortunately, I kind of forget about it. Right. I go on my day and just do whatever I have to do. And, and around 4:45 about 15 minutes before I have to leave. I get a call on my work phone. So I look down and I notice it's a number that I'm not familiar with. So I pick it up and I'm like, hello. And at first I hear nothing. And then about like a couple seconds go by and then I hear just like, oh, hello, uh, hello. I said, hi, this is Teresa. Who am I speaking with? Oh, hey, Teresa, it's John. Hey, how's it going? I said, oh, I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Oh, oh good, 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 good. And then it's completely silent, right? For like a good fucking 10 seconds. So I'm like, okay, John. I said, uh, how can I help you? What's up? I just want to let you know that I'm on my way into work. John, it's about 4.45. Oh yeah, no, I know, I know. I'll be there in about two hours. Our office closes at five. <laughs> You're on your way in now? Oh yeah, I'll be there in about two hours. Okay, I said, um, yeah, the office is gonna be closed now. Oh no, 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 oh yeah, 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 no, no, okay. I said, where are you? Oh, I'm in Jersey. I said, oh, you're in Jersey? I said, oh, I didn't know you were from Jersey. I'm not. Okay. Yeah, I got on the wrong train this morning. You know, you know how that happens. Sometimes you go to work and then you end up, you end up somewhere else. <laughs> I actually laughed at the phone because I was like, who fucking says that? And I said, yeah, no, it never happened to me, but um, all right, well, you should tell Pete that you're on your way into work. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, do you mind telling Pete that I'm gonna be there? I said, actually, no, Um, I, I, I'm i actually on my way out. I think it might be best for you. I, I could transfer you if you want. That's not a problem. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I guess you could transfer me, yeah, okay. All right, so um, I'll, I'll see you, I'll see you at work. He said, well, actually, no, I'm, I'm gonna be leaving right now. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, well, I'll be there all night, so I'll see you first thing in the morning. Not a problem, John. All right, you have a great day. Get to work safely, okay? Oh, yeah, thanks, Teresa. Thanks. So I passed him straight to his manager, and uh, yeah, the rest was history. And you're probably saying to yourself, he probably no longer works there. No, he, he still works there. He, he still works at my company. I don't know how. I don't know why. But that happened. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how he has a job, but he does. He's the luckiest person I have ever met in my whole life, so. So with that said, I wanna share with you a couple of things that I received in my P.O. box. And um, yeah, I'm sorry. I still can't get that, that that even happened out of my brain. So the first thing I wanna share is actually this lovely, awesome Christmas card from Sandy. First of all, ow. Little gingerbread almost cut my fucking finger. <laughs> this is adorable. Sandy gave me this really awesome card, actually, to me and Alex, which I was like, oh my god, bitch, I love it. What I loved more, honestly, was this really heartfelt letter that she sent me. And I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's, well, it's four pages long. It's always really nice to find people that also have, like, a similar background as you. And she was very close with her grandparents. And, oh, it, honestly, reading this letter in my car made me fucking cry. Like, as soon as I got out of the post office, I opened this up and I was just crying. <laughs> So thank you, Sandy. Thank you for making me cry. <laughs> this was a really beautiful letter and it was also very sad too. And I just want to say thank you so much, Sandy, for one, sharing with me and just taking the time out of your day for writing this to me. Like it, it really meant a lot to me. And it's just nice to know that there are other people out there that have like a similar 
story and it's just it's nice to know them so thank you so much i love and adore you and i really hope you had a very wonderful christmas and i hope you have a happy new year so the next thing i want to show you is actually from mandy and she sent me the emily edit the wants palette which is very exciting because i really 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 wanted to get this palette because i only have the needs palette right yeah i have like the little face palette this is awesome i'm super excited about this and she sent it to me because she ordered this initially from ulta and as you can see the cover of this kind of is a little funky on it, so I have to kind of figure out the best way of like repairing it so it closes down properly. With that said, Ulta sent her a new palette and she asked me if I wanted this palette. And so your bitch doesn't turn down anything. So I was very excited to actually take this off her hands. <laughs> so thank you so much, Mandy, for one, sending me this awesome gift. And I promise and assure you that I will be doing a review about it sometime within the next few weeks. And I'm actually excited about doing this review because I've heard a lot of mixed things about it. I've heard some people really hate it. Apparently there was mold growing out of the palette. I don't know. This sounds like a very fun, controversial palette. I'm super excited to fucking play with it. So please expect a review in the next few weeks. So thank you, Mandy. I love and adore your little face. So the next thing I want to share is actually something that I referenced to in my, I think my Dose of Colors video. Lee sent me this really wonderful Christmas card with a beautiful note in it. Oh yeah. And totally, if I ever come to Alabama, I will totally fucking hit you up and come hang out. Because one, I've never been to Alabama. Actually, I take that back. I think I've driven through Alabama, but I, I can't count that. But if I'm ever there, I will totally hit you up there. What Lee sent me was this awesome fucking thing from Surratt. I hope I'm saying that correctly, which I have heard of, but I don't own anything from this brand. She sent me a felt tip applicator. Because <laughs> you guys know I bitch and complain all the fucking time about Tara's felt tip applicator that she always shows on her fucking channel which I love you, Tara. But I always complain that I want one. And, you know, being the whiny little bitch that I am, Lee was kind enough to send me this. So I'm super excited because not only do I have a fucking silicone applicator, which I did receive in my PO box, which I adore. Now I have a felt tip applicator. So as you can see, the smaller side, which is the side that I use today. And then here's the bigger side. I like the silicone one for more of like a pressed glitter. And then these are really good for shimmers. This is awesome. I'm, thank you Lee for sending this to me. One, I will now shut the fuck up about it. And two, this will definitely change my makeup game, especially when applying shimmers, because now I noticed when using this, I don't really have nearly as much fallout. So girl, you are too good to me, I swear. Thank you so much again. I adore and love it. Oh. The next thing I wanna share with you guys is from Lisa. And Lisa, well one, she sent me this really adorable Christmas card. In her card though, she had a really funny story about, which I'm not gonna share because only it has to do with her email address. And I don't think she would want her email address to be plastered. Probably not. But anyway, Lisa had a really, really cute story about why her email address is the way that it is. I thought that was really funny and I love it. Lisa was so kind enough to send me the following items. Two, actually, these skull bracelets that I'm wearing because it appeases the 12 year old goth girl inside me, which I fucking adore. She sent me, which I thought was really funny. She sent me like a little sample of the Bomb Cosmetics Mary Luminizer, which if you haven't seen my 2018 Best of Beauty video, this is actually one of my favorite highlighters. So I was like, what are the odds of her sending me this one? Because this was well before I made the video about it. I like this sample size too. One, not only because it's cute packaging, but it's really tiny and this is probably gonna be really good for traveling. So I will definitely be taking this with me when I go to LA next month, which I'm so fucking excited to go. But anyway, she sent me a shitload of tea bags. If you guys didn't know, I was pretty much sick for the whole fucking month. Definitely all this tea will come in handy. The other thing that she sent me, which I actually never tried this before, and it's really cool. It's actually from the brand Yes To, which I am a big fan of that brand, especially when it came to like kind of makeup removers or any sort of like face kind of products, but I've never tried any of their lip products and she sent me some lip oil, which she said that's her favorite. Considering that we're kind of going into a season where it's just perpetually dry, I am excited to be using this. It's definitely gonna be nice to try something new. And last but not least, I think the thing that I'm like really secretly super fucking excited about, I love pins, right? So at my job, I actually have a, I guess I, it's not really a pin board, but more like a cushion board. And I have a slew of different pins I have collected over the years. And so she gave me me a bunch of little pins so, most of them actually from mac which is really cute which i've actually never even seen before they're like little angry clouds that say mac or like a little angry panda bear that says mac on it i was like this is so fucking adorable so i have my little pin board so when i go back to work next week i'm definitely going to be plastering all these little guys up actually i think i might put this in the front of my cubicle because it totally makes the most sense and I hope you could see that. Basically says, I know how you feel, I just don't care. Cause that's pretty much my motto at my job. 
<laughs> anyway, I really do love this. So Lisa, thank you so much for being one, so kind and thoughtful for sending me all this stuff. I really appreciate it. I love and adore it and I love your little beautiful fucking face and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. And last but certainly not least, I got a cool package from Ren. Ren actually sent me something I want to say not that long ago. She sent me really cool snacks from Japan. So I do want to show you quickly because I actually, I am going to kind of gloss over a couple of things only because I'm going to do a video with Alex where we eat Japanese snacks and just like bullshit and do face masks and stuff like that. I figured that'd be kind of fun to do. But I do want to show you what she sent because this, this shit's fucking awesome. Anyway, so the first thing I got was this really cool bag charm, which, which to me is really funny because this is a bag charm. It's fucking huge. So I got a Pikachu, which is pretty amazing. And maybe it's just all the vlogs that I've been watching from Japan or people showing Japan, but everybody just talks about Pokemon. <laughs> so I feel like everybody just loves Pokemon. <laughs> so I'm super excited to get a little Pikachu. So Pikachu is actually probably gonna live right over here. Right, Pika? Pika Pika. All right. So the other thing that she got me is this really cute 2019 diary, which Toy Story is actually my favorite Disney movie. So this is amazing and adorable. Seriously, the 12 year old girl inside me is like dying right now. When I showed this to my mom, she was just like, you can't ever write in that. <laughs> I was like, I know. <laughs> But no, I'm gonna make it a point to write in it because it's just really cute. Oh my god, it's so fucking cute. I can't even, like, look, I can't even take it. Why is Japan so much better than the U.S.? I love how kind of, like, fun and doofy they look. They're so cute. Uh, anyway, so she got me this planner. She got me this amazing little Christmas card, which... Again, it's like Toy Story stuff, which is really cute. She got me this like little notepad, which again, Toy Story, adorable, obviously. And it looks like it's from Toy Story Mania Ride. And it has like little Japanese writing on it. I have no idea what that says. Ren, please let me know what it says. Um, but it's really cute. You know, like ham and your Woody. Ugh, I fucking love it. And then I'm assuming this is hand lotion and lip balm. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is really cute. Again, when my mom saw it, she was like, you can't open that. <laughs> She's like, you need to hold all the packaging. <laughs> she also sent me two face masks, which I'm going to use with Alex. One is a Dragon Ball Z one, which is really cute. And I'm actually gonna make him wear it because he made a video about Dragon Ball Z. And also Star Wars, which is really, really, really adorable. And it's a Darth Vader mask. How cute is that? And she also sent me two different kind of eyeliners. One looks like it's a Sailor Moon eyeliner, which Again, my mom was like, you can't open that up. And this is another eyeliner, which is like in this really pretty coppery color. So pretty. Oh my God, I can't wait to play with it. So excited. She also gave me tea bags as well. And they're like little cats where apparently, which is what it kind of looks like on the back of it. Uh, if you can see that, like you kind of stick them on the side and it looks like a cat is like literally like sitting in a jacuzzi cup of tea. Again, why is Japan better than us? I don't understand. She made this really cool 3D Christmas card, which is adorable. And left me this really, really nice note on the back. The last time she sent me a package, she sent me the Shuyumura Super Mario blush. And I made a reference in my video where my mom wanted to steal it from me. But you know, I told that bitch no. Fucking Ren, the sweetheart that she is, she actually sent me another blush to give to my mom. And then it made my mom cry. So thanks Ren, you made my mom cry. She's like, YouTube sending me stuff? <laughs> And I was like, well, not YouTube in general, but people that are subscribed to me, yes. <laughs> so anyway, you made my mom cry, so thank you. And then which made me cry, so thank you. But this I fucking love is that she, <laughs> she put that and then she put a picture of herself because she's awesome. I'm gonna link her channel down below. She's fucking really cool. She's, I love her videos and I love that she shows makeup that is obviously regional specific. Definitely really cool to see what Japanese makeup looks like. And I know she did recently, she did a vlog with her friend where she kind of went around Tokyo. Anyway, she's really cool. I really do like her. If you guys haven't checked her out, I totally invite you to do so and I'll make sure to leave her stuff down below. The last thing I will show you before I get into my whole video, is that she um, sent me a shitload of snacks. She is awesome though, and she left me little notes on things so I know what exactly things are. But yeah, apparently G-Friend is a thing. Got some more Pringles. This one is a chicken and soy sauce flavored one. My favorite, which I can't wait to try, what the hell is it, is this one. It's a uh, grilled cheeseburger, which apparently tastes disgusting, so I cannot wait to try that. So be on the lookout in the next couple weeks or so. Me and Alex are gonna be doing a video together where we eat Japanese snacks and put on face masks and just shoot the shit. I'm super excited. So Ren, I love and adore you. Thank you so much for being so fucking kind and one, setting all this really cool shit, but also setting that thing for my mom like that. Killed me, that really meant a lot, so I appreciate it. 
All right, so first and foremost, before I get into it, I just wanna say that um, in no way am I showing off, so please don't think that. This is literally just stuff that I received from family and friends and my husband, and uh, yeah. It's actually kind of funny because since Alex was sick, we actually didn't see some people, so I know there's probably some Christmas gifts that are still floating out there that when I see other relatives, I'll go pick them up. But for the most part, I actually got gift cards, which were from Ulta and Sephora, so I'm super appreciative of that because yeah, they know that I buy a lot of fucking makeup and I couldn't be more thankful enough to be getting those gift cards. So I would say primarily that was like my biggest gift, but the best gift that I did receive this year was actually these really awesome noise canceling headphones. And Alex picked them up for me and they're Bose. They're really fucking nice. They're the one that actually has, they're not wireless. They actually have the wire, but the wire is actually attached to my computer. And the reason why I wanted headphones so badly. It was actually the only thing that I asked for this year because reality, you know, I'm 33. I could fucking, if I want something, I'm going to buy it. You know, like I make my own money. I and Christmas, oh, you know, I feel like Christmas is more for kids and stuff like that. So there's never anything that I'm like, oh, this is what I really want for Christmas. I try to think of more practical things. So, but the one thing I did kept noting is that I wanted new headphones. One, not only for editing purposes, but my neighbors are complete assholes <laughs> that I have been using earplugs to go to sleep at night. And after a certain time, my ears are just like throbbing because my ears are so small and dainty and the earplugs are just kind of fucking it up. So pretty much, what I've been doing is actually just going to bed with my headphones. And what's really cool about these is that they're noise canceling. So you kind of like flip the switch on this side and it's completely like dead quiet. It's the weirdest thing, but it's so fucking good, especially for someone who has misophonia like myself. So for all my misophonia people, I would totally recommend getting noise canceling headphones if you don't have them, because these are a lifesaver. The other thing that I got, which I, I love this so much, that Alex gave me is this really cute beanie. We are um, very big fans of H3H3 H3, and he actually bought a beanie himself and I kept admiring how much I liked his beanie. He has a red one, so I was like, I want one. So he actually got me a blue one, which is really, really cute. I love and adore it. It just hasn't really been that cold here yet. And I think that's why I've been still fucking sick is because one day it's 30 and the next day it's 50. So uh, it hasn't been really, really cold for me to wear this beanie, but I've kind of just been wearing it in the house, you know, pretending like I run a Seattle coffee shop, just being adorable. So <laughs> anyway, I love this thing. This is so comfortable and um, this is pretty great. So this is the other thing that I got. I'm also going to like just show pictures here on the side over here because um, it's just easier instead of like just trying to like turn my camera around. Alex got me practical gifts this year. So he got me like this really cool cube storage system. I've been eyeing these things for a while now and he actually got me this one and it's really awesome. So now I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck to put in it. And he also got me this new lamp, which is really funny because I know you're probably going to say that's a child's bedroom lamp and you're right, it is, but it's a fucking pineapple and I love pineapple. So I, I love this lamp so much. I love these things. So Alex, I think he killed it this year in terms of giving me nice little presents. So I appreciate and love them. The other thing I got was this really awesome Kate Spade wallet. Usually all my wallets are pretty much Kate Spade for like the last few years or so. So every year I get a new wallet. This year I actually got a really pretty blue one with some stars, which is really nice. Thing from Coach actually. I think it's kind of like a bag charm-ish slash coin purse thing. It's a shark. He's adorable. Like you little open his little mouth and you could pour some coins or maybe a chapstick or something like that in there. Oh, maybe I'll put a chapstick in him. Yeah, maybe I'll put chapstick in him. Anyway, he is so fucking cute. I love sharks so much. So I was very, very happy to be receiving him. He actually reminds me of a little shark from like the Lego movie with the little laser on him. I don't know, he's so adorable. Anyway, I also received like this tiny little bento box with these little pandas on it because you know, apparently I am a 12 year old goth Japanese girl. But anyway, I love it. I love like these little tiny snack storage situations. And especially if I have a, a fucking panda on it or some weird anime thing on it, I'm going to love and adore it. Yes, I'm 33. Yes, I know that. But I thought this was really cute. So I was very excited that I got this. So I can put my little snacks in it and take it to work with me and just like be a cutie. So I'm excited for that. So the other things I got are pretty much, these are like all makeup related stuff. So the first one is actually from The Body Shop and it's this chamomile cleansing butter flat makeup remover thing and this actually is really good I really tr I tried this in the store and I really really did like it it's very similar to the one makeup remover pharmacy or whatever that we received in one of our boxy charms it reminds me of this it's, it's actually really good and I really do like their makeup remover so I was very excited to get this little set I got these <laughs> these two Too Faced sets, which I thought was really funny because of my relationship with Too Faced. But the first one is called Christmas Dreams. First of all, I love the makeup bags. I gotta say, Too Faced is really adorable when it comes to like all their packaging and stuff. So I have like these little bunnies 
And when you open this up, you get this awesome little palette, which actually looks pretty nice. Looks like you get some shadows, a blush. Oh, so basically this is like a full face makeup palette. So if you guys are interested in seeing how this looks, let me know. I'll definitely test it out. But this I thought was actually pretty cute. The other two things that you get in this is you get this lip gloss and you get a deluxe size sample of Better Than Sex Mascara. The other one is also called, is it also called Christmas Dreams? And the other one is also called Christmas Dreams, but this one is called the Dream Queen. And this is a limited edition makeup collection. So when you open her up, oh, that's cool. So you get a little hangover, like a little mini size of the hangover spray, which I actually really like the makeup setting spray from Too Faced. You get another little deluxe size sample of the Better Than Sex Mascara. I got another little lip gloss. Another adorable, huge makeup bag, by the way, which this is really cool. I really do like it. And then I have another little palette, which again, it's a, basically a full face palette. I think this might actually have a little bit more options though than the other palette. But anyway, like I mentioned before, if you want to see me do any looks with these or anything like that, just let me know down below. I'd be more than happy to do that. The other thing I received is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio, which is this guy here. I actually don't own any blush from Anastasia Beverly Hills, so I'm super excited. Super gorgeous, so I can't wait to play around with that. I have two liquid lipsticks from Violet Voss. I'm so sorry, I kind of took everything out of the packaging before I decided to come up with this video. So that's the one shade, and that is in the shade Jelly, and it's in the shade Luna. Really pretty nude colors. I've never actually tried Violet Voss liquid lipsticks, so I'm really excited to try them, but they are very creamy though. I don't know why I smelled it because I can't smell anything, but they are very creamy. <laughs> the next thing I got, which I mentioned this before, was the Dose of Colors I Love Sahari or Sarai or whatever the fuck her name is palette. I initially reviewed this on my channel and I really only liked it for the green shade and I returned it because it was $35 and to me it wasn't worth the money. When Black Friday rolled around, I saw that it was half off, so I made Alex buy this for me. <laughs> So I was really excited, one, that I didn't have to pay for it, but two, that he got it for literally half off the price that it's supposed to be. In my last video, the one where I do the 2018 Best Of, that's the palette that I'm wearing in that video because that green shade is fucking everything. I also have two Dose of Colors lip products. One is actually from the Disney collection and it's in the shade Forever, which is a very beautiful brown shade here. The other shade is One and Only, and I believe this is like their lip gloss shade, which is that guy right there. So I've been wearing those two shades. Oh my God, they're so fucking good. I really do like the Dose of Colors lip stuff. And I never purchased any of their lip stuff before, but I'm definitely going to be purchasing more stuff in the future because it's a phenomenal. I got some body butter from the body shop, Almond Milk and Honey. I got some other like random things from like Bath and Body Works. Like I got a huge candle, which is far from me. I'm not gonna, it's over there. Anyway, it's this candle. I got one of those. I got this little visor clip, like this little monster guy for my car. I'm definitely obsessed with hand sanitizer, especially being in the subway all the time. So I have a new little hand sanitizer holder. It's a pink sloth and I mean, come on, he's so fucking adorable. And I have a hand cream. I have vanilla pumpkin hand cream from the body shop. So I got some nail polish. So the first one was, let me show you the green side because that's actually what's currently on my nails. So it's from the brand Julep, which I love Julep's nail polish in general. Um, this is the actual shade that's on my nails currently. And then I have like this more, ooh, it has like a cool like pink purple reflect in this. This is gonna be really cute, sparkly little number. And then I also have like a clear, looks like a duochrome kind of gloss on top. A glossy taco as fucking Christine would say. And I have a blue one. Again, nice little blue top coat. Ooh, this is almost kind of like a, purpley blue like midnight blue shade very pretty and I have this lighter blue one sparkly number I'm super excited honestly I really love nail polish I personally like doing them myself I don't like going to the salon and doing them I only like getting pedicures done at the salon yeah anyway I was super excited to get more nail polish because bitch can't have enough nail polish so yeah I got the three little Stila All That Shimmers. I'm excited to get these, honestly, because I only have one. I had the one that I received, I think, from a Sephora Play Box, but I just, they're so fucking cool and they're just so expensive, <laughs> especially for one of them. So I was actually super, super excited that I received this. These are all three swatched. I love how, like, liquid metal they look that's awesome anyway so the darkest shade here is actually vivid smoky quartz this pinkish shade is the shade kitten and this pale gold shade over here is starlight ah oh, i love it so beautiful 
And again, if you really want to see any sort of tutorials with any of these kind of makeup things, just let me know. The other thing I got was actually this Wet n Wild brush set, which I thought was really cute. One of my relatives gave this to me. They know that I love brushes. I honestly, I actually got one of these last year and I love them. I still use them. So I was very happy to get like a whole new brush set this year. I really love them, especially for like the smaller brushes. I think Wet n Wild actually has some pretty decent brush quality. I'm not a big fan of like their big powder brushes because they feel very rough. The other smaller ones I really do love. So I'm very, very excited that I have this. And last but not least, I actually got a Tatcha gift set because I just kept saying that I love Tatcha so much. So this one is really cool because one, I have a little version of a Violet C Radiant Skin Mask. I have um, a deluxe sample of the Silk Canvas, which obviously I can't get enough of. I have a little version of the water cream, again, can't get enough of. And then I have, I guess this is more, I'm not sure if this is a full size or if this is like a deluxe size version of the Luminous Dewy Skin Mess. I've never tried it. I'm super excited because I've heard nothing but good things about it. Even though I have the big versions of these, it, these are just so good to have because I go through them so fucking fast. So I was very excited to, to be getting this set. Oh, 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 oh. Last but not least, I got him. <laughs> So, funny story about him is that, um, first of all, his name is uh, Mr. Bear, so, hello. My mom gave me this, and one, because I, I just, I love little stuffed animals and little tchotchkes and all kinds of weird shit, but she's like, I thought of you when I saw him, and these are the bears that you can actually microwave. I know. You can actually microwave him, and then apparently he's supposed to omit some sort of lavender smell. Which is really funny considering she knows that her daughter can't smell. So I don't really understand <laughs> why. I mean, I love him. I think he's really adorable and he's like, he's really heavy. He's like totally made of like all beans and stuff. Oh, come on, act accordingly, sir. Sit properly. Anyway, he's really adorable, but I really found it incredibly odd that you have to put him in the microwave. <laughs> and I was like, that can actually sounds pretty fucking depressing that you're gonna microwave a stuffed animal and then just have it around you. So I don't know, if you guys have one of these things, please explain to me how it works. Cause one, I can't smell, so it's, it's, it's not gonna do anything for me. But I think there's just the thought of putting him in the microwave. Like I just immediately think of that fucking Toy Story 3 moment where all the toys start holding hands as they approach the fire. And then it makes me wanna cry every time. And that's what I think of <laughs> when thinking about putting him in the microwave. So needless to say, he's gonna sit on a shelf and um, we're gonna keep him safe. But anyway, I thought he was really cute there. I thought it was just like, just really random. Really, really random that my mom would get me that. But anyway, I love and adore him, so all is well. Oh yeah, and I got these really cool slipper socks. Totally forgot, um, I'm wearing them right now. That's why I'm not showing them, but this is what they are. They're really cool, they're super comfortable. And apparently on Oprah's favorite list, like that means anything, but anyway, they're super comfortable. So if you do wanna get them, I would totally recommend them. They're so soft. Anyway, let me know what you guys got for Christmas and stuff like that. And let me know if you wanna see any of like the makeup stuff in like future videos. I'll be more than happy to do that. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. I just want to say, I hope you guys have a wonderful, happy, healthy new year. I look forward to what 2019 will bring. In the words of my best friend, no expectations. Actually, let's try to make that a hashtag for next year. No expectations. I think if we just do that, we won't be disappointed with 2019. And that's really all that matters. On that note, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, subways, in the streets, whatever. And I'll see you little pumpkins next year. Bye.